Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best Minolta lenses in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these Minolta lenses, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality Minolta lenses according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Minolta 85M f 1.4. Minolta 85M f 1.4 is a portrait lens designed for Minolta mount cameras. It is compatible with Sony mount camera systems as well. The fast f 1.4 aperture promises beautiful book. The focusing ring does not rotate in AF mode. Plus, there's a focus hold button to hold focus and fire the shutter release. The beautiful circular aperture design, along with the floating focusing system, ensures a nice to focus background and foreground. That said, the lens is very sharp and captures a lot of detail on the main subject. The overall performance of this lens is very good, comparable to the likes of the Zeiss CA85M f/1.4. The Minolta 85M f/1.4 remains one of the most sought-after lenses in the pre-owned market. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Minolta MC Rocker 58F-1.2. One of the fastest aperture lenses you will ever come across. The Minolta MC Rocker 58F-1.2 has a beast of a maximum aperture. With that aperture, you can handle low light situations with ease, never needing a tripod unless you are shooting with moonlight. The wide F-1.2 aperture is 2, and a third stops faster than an F-2.8 portrait lens. This offers an incredible advantage, but beyond the f/1.2 aperture, the lens is well built, made almost entirely out of metal. The aperture diaphragm is composed of eight blades. The quality of the background blur is also very good. The number three position is held by Minolta 100-300. Minolta 100-300 f/4.5 5.6 APOD is a telephoto lens designed for the Maxim SLR camera system. This lens will not directly mount on any other camera mount, apart from the Minolta Maxim AF SLR system without an adapter. The focal length range of the camera starts from 100 all the way to 300. That means the lens is suitable for portraits, a bit of wildlife, as well as birding. The maximum aperture range is on the lower side, offering only f 4.5 and going down further to f 5.6. This means the lens will struggle in low light conditions. One of the features that we like on this lens is the focus hold button. This is a standard found on a number of other Minolta lenses that we have listed here. This feature allows you to hold focus by stopping the focusing drive. It also releases the shutter butt to ensure that an exposure can be made. Next at number 4, we have Minolta 35 105mm f 3.5-4.5. Designed for the Maxim 3000, 5000, 7000, and 9000 series SLR cameras, the Minolta 35 105M f 3.5-4.5 is a standard zoom lens. The focal length range of the lens covers the essential everyday photography range, 35M all the way to 105M. That means this lens will be suitable for landscape work, and with it, street photography and portrait photography. The maximum aperture of the lens is f 3.5 going down to f 4.5. This is not a low-light champion by any stretch of the imagination. That said, at a throwaway price, you can use this lens in bright conditions for all sorts of photography. The number 5 position is held by Minolta 7210 f 4. Designed for full-frame Minolta SLRS, the Minolta 7210 f 4 is an interesting lens. The focal length ranges from 7tm to 200tm. The aperture remains fixed at f 4. However, this means your exposures are predictable across the focal length. Interestingly, zooming is internal. That means the barrel length of the lens remains the same across the focal length. These lenses usually have huge color fringing issues. They also suffer from ghosting and flares. That being said, don't let these issues be deal breakers. You can easily adjust chromatic aberrations in post-processing. Flares and ghosting are difficult to remove in post-processing but you can eliminate them in camera by carefully avoiding the source of light in the shot. 
The number six position is dominated by Minolta 2885M F slash 3.5 4.5. The Minolta 2885M F-3.5 4.5 is a full-frame design for the Minolta Maxim mount. This lens will autofocus on compatible Minolta bodies. It also works on a range of APS-C cameras as well, but with the associated crop factor. This lens covers the essential portrait focal length of 85M. That said, the lens covers a wide-angle field of view too. Because of the 28 wide-angle coverage, you will be able to shoot landscape, architecture, group shots quite easily with this lens. The aperture range changes across the focal length. At f 4.5 it is not bad. However, low light performance when fully zoomed in will be a little less than par. One hidden feature of the Minolta 2885M is the built-in macro mode. However, this will only work fully zoomed out at 28. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Minolta 100 f 2.8 macro. Minolta 100 f 2.8 macro is designed for the Minolta slash Sony mount. Macro lenses have always had a special place in our hearts. Everyone loves a good macro lens. This Minolta D-series macro lens produces a maximum magnification of 1, 1, i.e. This is a true macro lens. It has a fast maximum aperture of f 2.8. This aperture is good enough for a range of lighting conditions. The lens is also suitable for portrait photography. Autofocusing will only work on Sony mount and native Minolta Maxim mount camera systems. But this is a macro lens and when shooting macro, you'll often find yourself using manual focusing anyway. So, if your camera supports focus assist, then by all means get an adapter and you can use this lens in manual mode to easily nail focus. You will never miss autofocusing at all. The number 8 position is held by Minolta 50M F-1.7. This compact Minolta 50M F-1.7 was originally made in Japan. Thanks to aggressive cost cutting by the brands, very few lenses, let alone prime lenses, get made in Japan. At least not the ones that are sold in the Asia Pacific. There is something about a 50M Prime that always draws a photographer towards it. The 50M Prime will suit a hard-working photographer more than someone who prefers to shoot from a distance. If you are not inclined to walk to be able to make images, then the 50M Prime, and for that matter the 35M Prime, is not for you. The Minolta 50M F-1.7 is a decent design. A 50M Prime with an F-1.7 fast, wide aperture. Next at number 9, we have Minolta 28 F-2.8. Another short focal length prime lens design for the Maxim Minolta mount camera. The Minolta 28 F-2.8 is also compatible with Sony's mount camera systems. The lens has a fast wide aperture of f 2.8. It should handle any kind of lighting well. Like many of the other prime Minolta lenses that we have discussed here, the Minolta 28 F-1.4 comes with a built-in lens hood. So, transporting this lens is easy. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by the Minolta 15 Prime Phone 0.7 F lens. This basic but powerful prime lens is perfect for both distortion-free portraits and quality bucket shots. It features seven aperture blades, a built-in lens hood, and a quality build. It offers superior sharpness to its shots. A 15 prime lens is the industry standard for being almost as close to the natural human eye at how it sees the world. The effect in portrait photography is extremely natural without jarring distortion or lack of focus. Those seeking an artistic yet affordable lens for fine baco will be pleased as well. The completely controllable features result in pleasant shapes without rough edges even while wide open at phone point seven. This affordable lens will find itself welcome anywhere. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.